Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a highly requested comparison video for you and that is between my Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire versus the Chanel Wallet on Chain or better known as the Walk. Now, not too long ago I did a what's in my bag video with my Pochette Accessoire and following that video a number of you reached out asking me which fits more, the Pochette or the walk and so I thought I would do this dedicated video just to kind of show you as you can see on the left here I've got a number of items I will put those items in each bag so you can see how they look and how it fills up and then overall we'll see which bag fits more now I say bag technically both of these items are considered small leather good items so they are in the SLG category but I use them exclusively as mini handbags and I know that many of you do as well so I just wanted to point that out so this is the classic Chanel walk, right? It has the classic quilting. It's got the black caviar with the silver hardware and the little pocket in the back. I also have the beige filigree walk that does not have the back pocket. And then I also have the reissue style walk as well that does have the back pocket. And the interior is pretty much the same in terms of all of the compartments and the layout, but I wanted to show you for the purposes of this video, I will just be using my black classic walk. If you are interested in a comparison video of the walks, for example, if you wanted mod shots to see different strap lengths, because I do think that they are slightly different in the chain lengths, um, and anything else, please leave me a comment down below and I will try to film a video all about my walks in the future. So here is how the inside of the pochette looks. I'm sure you're all very familiar with this. Okay, it has the wide open cloth lining and then it has this one open pocket for the newer styles. If you go several years back, this smaller pocket will not be there. Okay, and then the walk is actually very well laid out. You've got an open pocket in the front. You've got this zippered compartment as well, which is really secure if you wanted to put some cash or cards. Here is another open pocket, and then you've got the main compartment. And as you can see, if you look inside, I have a base shaper in there to hold the shape. And there are six card slots, which is very convenient if you wanted to save space and put your cards in there. And this is what it looks like without the base shaper. Okay. I did do a video all about the walk and the base shaper. If you're interested, I will link that down below as well in the description box. And then the best part, in my opinion, of the walk is this pocket here that goes all the way down to the very bottom of the bag. So it fits my entire hand, as you can see, and it is really, really secure if you wanted to put any items in there that really needed to be tucked away, maybe some larger bills if you're traveling, maybe your passport, and then of course, like I showed you before, is a small pocket here for maybe receipts. So let's get started with this one. I'm actually going to show you, my passport does fit in there beautifully, and I've showed this in previous videos, but in case you missed them, put them all the way down, 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 and it goes down to about here, and so it doesn't interfere with the fold. How secure is that, especially, again, if you are traveling? There's really no way that anyone's getting in there without you knowing. And then here, let's get started. I'm going to start with the big piece here. Here's my mini pochette, just to show you how ridiculous this is. If you were wondering if you could carry your mini pochette inside your walk with or without the base shaper, the base shaper really doesn't take up a whole lot of space. This is absolutely bonkers and looks crazy to me. It takes up the entire inside compartment, so I'm going to say no to that. Let's go with the slimmer pouch here. Here's my Chanel mini O-case. And I did do a comparison of the O-case with the mini pochette as well, if you're interested, if you're trying to decide between the two. So this is a lot slimmer, and it does fit and it leaves room for other things, but again, kind of looks a little crazy like proportionally just seems a little bit unnecessary but let's leave that in for a minute and then here is my trusty key pouch that goes right in there and my phone actually I put in this compartment right here and that is an iPhone 7 plus case and it fits perfectly now as you can see it's already very tight I can probably stick this little lipstick this is my Givenchy lip product. Okay, so that will fit. But this, like I said, looks a little bit crazy, right? So 
if you didn't want to bother with the card slots, you could easily put the cards in there. But if you didn't want to bother with it and you wanted a separate card holder, this will fit very, very nicely. Okay, so there's no issue there in terms of closing it. The other items here, this egg lotion, egg shaped uh, hand cream is so popular but I've talked about this before. It's not very convenient to carry around in your handbags because of the shape and how bulky it is. And also, I prefer the L'Occitane hand creams because I think they're far more moisturizing than this, just to be candid, and a fraction of the price. But look at that. So I'm not going to put that in there. And then my coin purse. This actually has my earbuds, you guys know. So that, that's getting a little too stuffed. I'm not even going to try to close it because it's going to be too tight and I don't like to overstuff my bags. So what you can do is you can take this out and make believe you put some of the cards along the card slots. And then you can easily put this in. Okay, Lots of noise coming through the street level here. Sirens, drilling. There's a whole lot going on today. So I hope that it's not too distracting. But let's see here. And remember, the passport's still in here as well. And this is the older model with the snaps. So there you have it. Looks pretty good. Not too, not too bulgy. The flaps are straight. And then you could put some receipts or something really, really small and slim. I've got this little um, hand sanitizer Purell that you could technically put in there, but I won't because if this explodes or tears and leaks, it's going to absolutely ruin the caviar leather so I wouldn't do that but something as slim and small as that could fit in here okay so that's pretty much how it looks sometimes what I do is I actually take my cards and bills and I put them in here when I go shopping so it's really secure and I don't need a separate oops I think I just closed it I don't need a separate uh, card holder so for example right now I just have my ID and my Metro card, but you know, imagine this is a credit card, very easy, like so. And then you have some more space in here, okay? But it is very small, it's very compact. I think we all know that. Did I get everything? Okay, and my passport. It's so noisy today, there's just a lot going on out, outside. Okay, so now let's try the pochette. As you can see, it is a bigger kind of, it's just like a big hole, a big gaping. So sometimes I do use this as a pouch and also for my bills and my cards. And in fact, I have some things in here already and you see my bills and some little knickknacks. So that does fit fine. Let's see, you could fit your mini pochette in here as well, and it does zip up. But it just, again, seems a little unnecessary to have two of these pouches, but it does fit nicely and plenty of room to spare. Okay, so let's just start with the mini pochette just, just for fun. Card holder, this... <laughs> It does fit the egg and by the way I never carry this around with me this one here I hardly I have my L'Occitane hand cream inside the mini pochette I only use my hand cream at home when I'm doing my manicures I recently just painted my nails again and to moisturize I use the hand cream I use this one at home and I put it all over my cuticles and all over my hands but like I said, the shape does not lend itself to be very convenient to take around with you in mini handbags. But for the purposes of this video, I'll just show you it does fit. And then here's my, can you see already how much easier this is? There's my card case and my coin purse. I never carry this much. That to me is overstuffed because the zipper looks wonky. So I'm going to take out the mini pochette and imagine I transferred some of those knickknacks into my pouch here. That is very easy to do. Okay. And then of course I need my keys. So there you go. Let's see. 
it's the egg. So take the egg out. So right now I've got the mini o case, key pouch, card holder, coin purse, a lipstick, and then of course I will need my phone. Okay, you could also move your card holder into this spot here if you wanted it for easier access and then you can shimmy some stuff around. See, pretty roomy. And this I know will fit. And there's no wonkiness in the zipper. See that? Straight line. Even this is more than I would pack. I would probably put whatever's in this card holder, I'd probably put it in here and then it would just be like this. I think this is pretty much what I showed in my what's in my bag video. I think it was this combination right here. Oops, what am I getting stuck on? Oh, and so this key pouch, it does stand up fine, but sometimes if it gets knocked around, it'll stand up and then get in the way of the zipper. So if I can, I try to put it down like so. It's just easier to zipper up, zip up. And then again, I think I showed this in my what's in my bag video, but I always have an extra face mask with me these days and I put it in this separate compartment so that it's easy to access and also keeps it kind of clean away from the rest of the items. So obviously you can see that it's just easier to play around with the pochette accessoire and I think in general, you know, it's, it's larger and it's canvas and it's a little bit more pliable. It's also going to be lighter because it's canvas versus this that has all the leather and all the compartments, right? But they're both pretty compact. If you're looking for something really carefree that can fit all of your daily essentials and you don't have to fuss in getting them in and out, I would highly, highly recommend the Pochette Accessoire. I do feel like the walks are going to go up in price, the classics in particular. This is right now 2500 in US dollars. And the last increase on this here was uh, two years ago. So not to say that I want to see a price increase, but I do think that they are due for an increase, if that makes sense, just in the life cycle of Chanel. So I would not be surprised if at the end of this year you see this go up to three thousand dollars that's a five hundred dollar increase right i think that's pretty normal percentage wise for chanel increases so if you're on the market for a brand new classic wallet on chain i definitely think you not to like panic buy obviously but if you've been on the market anyway and you've already been planning to buy one and you know you want one in your collection then i would encourage you to consider buying one sooner rather than later because yeah, I'm betting that the prices are going to go up to about 3000 And then for the Rainbow Reissue and for the Filigree, I paid more than 2500 because these are, you know, a bit different. They're a bit, a bit more special. They, they're, they've got more of the seasonal vibe and they're not always available. So I hope that was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did find it to be helpful in any way. And if you are new to my channel and you like this kind of content, I would welcome you to subscribe. I would love for you to join this community because we have lots of fun here. All right, till next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.